All right, unit two, lab two, page three, quiz app. Page one, planning a quiz app. So first thing you should do is start a new snap file and save it as unit two, lab two, quiz app. Okay, unit two, lab two, quiz app. Remember, this is where you save things, okay? All right, there is a lot of information on this lab page, so please go to the actual lab page. Please read it carefully. If you haven't already, copy the vocabulary into your vocabulary notebook. You may have done that yesterday. Okay, so just in brief, we're going to be using something called an abstract data type to pair the answers with their answers. So decide what type of quiz you'd like to build and write three to five questions in their correct answers. And then please carefully read this information, a lot of vocab, right? So they're, what they're trying to point out, like I did in the do now, is like this kind of like all these lists and item of stuff going on is kind of confusing. So we can make blocks to name the items in a way that makes more sense. Okay, just a little layer of meaning so we don't have to deal quite as much with this item one of, item two of, item two of item three, right? Very confusing. An abstract data type is just naming your data items in a way that makes it easier to program. Okay, so just get down, you know, make sure you have this vocabulary down, etc. Okay. All right, we're going to build the quest custom quiz item extract data type, both the constructor and the two selectors. This, these instructions are pretty confusing, so I'm just going to demonstrate, okay? But just make sure you take a look at this page on your own. Lots of info. Okay, a lot of info. Please read it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is make a block. We're going to call it quiz item question, answer. It's going to be a reporter, and it's going to be an operator. OK. Now press the button here to create a user input called question. Now here's something new. See this arrow here? We're expecting text. So we're going to click this text by box instead of any type. All right. This is specifying the input type. It's not necessary in SNAP, but it is necessary in other programming languages, and it can help prevent bugs, user-created bugs. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with answer. We're going to go to input name and select text. Text, we're expecting text. All right, and now all we're going to do is report a list. that has the question and the answer. Now, where is it? It's down here, right? What happened? OK, so the block is now here. OK, so let's just try this question. Uh, what class is this? Answer, A, C, 
computer science principles. Let's see if we can spell that right. Oops. See, and all that does is make a list out of the question and answer, okay? So this is called an abstract data type. Okay, all this block does is report a list of the question and answer. This block is called a constructor. It constructs the data structure and helps you keep your code organized and readable. Okay, now we'll build two selectors. They select a piece of the data structure. All right, so again, I'm gonna make a block. I'm gonna make it a reporter, green, and it's gonna just be question, question from quiz item is one of them. Again, we're gonna add an input Call it, uh, I don't know, let's just call it item. Let's call it quiz item. And then we're going to select the input type. But this time, we're going to use a list, okay? Input type list. And all we're going to do is report item one of the quiz item. Okay, now this dot 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 just means that it's expecting a list. Okay. So here it is. Oops, I did something wrong here. Wait, wait, no, okay. All right, now we're going to repeat that and call it answer from quiz item. Again, it's going to be a reporter and it's going to be green. And again, we're going to define an input called answer. No, called quiz item. We're going to define it, its data type as a list. And all it's going to do is report item two. of the quiz item. Okay, this got dragged to there, right? Notice when I pull it out, the dot, dot, dot disappears. Okay, so they are here. And let's see, we have this. Okay, see, all this does is just report this first part of it. If I put it in here now, it should report the second part, okay? Okay, now we need to make a variable called quiz and we need to set quiz to an empty list all right got to do this and you got to click on it
All right, now pull out an add thing to list thing, all right, after you've initialized it. Drag quiz here, and now drag this in there. And start typing your questions, okay? Uh, what holiday is coming up? Answer, thanks, giving. Oops. All right, so you can see it here if you Double click, you can see a table view. There's also a way to convert it. I always get confused. But anyway, this has gone on long enough. But good luck with that. This is the your first exposure to abstract data types. Okay, good luck.